A lot of people ask me, Mori, how do you build lobbies like this on your Skyblock Island? And I never actually know how to answer that question. But today, I'll show you guys exactly how to use Lightmatica. So I'm gonna start off this video by expecting that you have the mod and you know how to use Fabric. If you don't know how to install the mod, then I'll probably do a second video that explains that. But this video is all about the mod itself. So listen well, kids. So we're gonna start with some simple keys. First off, if you want to open the Lightmatica menu, you have to use M. In here, you can also see schematic placement, load a schematics, and load schematics. Load schematics is if you want to load a schematic into your world. Load a schematics is the one that are loaded in your world. And this button, Reselection Browser, is the one you're going to use when you create a schematic. To use this mod, you have to know that you need to use a stick. With your stick, if you do control and then you scroll on your mouse you can see that i can change the mod versions here i can do different i can use different versions of the, of the mod to do stuff with schematics step one you have to know how to create a schematic so let me show you so if ever you want to create a schematic in the world make sure you're in um area selection mode one out of nine Make sure you're on that because it's not going to work if you're actually in another mode. So then you're going to left click here. And you have to know that you, you need the entire thing. So if ever I'm here, here, now I'm going to right click and boom, I have my little box here. You can remove blocks inside, don't worry. When you have your little box like this, you can press M. Then you're going to do area selection browser here. And here you're going to do new selection. You're going to call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it whatever. You're going to, you're going to press OK. And then you're going to go in your whatever. You're going to press configure. And here, if you want to actually save it, you go and save schematic. And here you're going to see your schematic folder. You're going to call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it whatever. And then save schematic. Boom. And now your schematic is created. It's in your... your um, your folder if ever you want to use it I'm gonna show you exactly how so here we're gonna go in schematic placement mode 2 out of 9 we're gonna go in load schematic we're gonna take our schematic which is the whatever one so it's here and then we're gonna put we're gonna click load schematic now it should be somewhere here look here it is that's our little house that's just right there you can move it with your stick by pressing alt and doing the scroll thing on your on your mouse you can move it with a stick you have to have a stick in your hand but you can move it like that and if ever i do that it can go up and down and then like that too if ever i wanted to move this house and bring it here i could just build it like this or when you're in a solo world you could actually paste it in your world by going into mode five and here pressing on minus my keys minus but it probably is something else for you guys and boom here's how you have it you just press minus and it's going to paste i'll show you how to change it if you actually want to change it here you go in when you when you press m you go in configuration menu and you go in hotkeys and execute operation mines minus but I think when you reset it, there's none. I put minus because it's super easy to remember. And here you have it. That's how you paste the schematic in your world. But what if I want to rotate the schematic? You don't know how to rotate the schematic. And I'm going to show you. So here, you're going to go and load it schematics. And this one, you're, you're going to see your, your whatever one is here. Then you're going to go in schematic placement, configure, and here, rotations, you can rotate it like this. As you can see on the screen, it's rotating. So if ever I wanted to place it like this, boom, I have my, um, my little house here that's there. It's pretty cool because if ever you want to create a village and you're lazy to build different houses, you can just rotate them and place them. And if, I, if ever I'm in mode 5 right now, I can just do that and boom, it's going gonna, it's gonna to paste it. So other than placing, creating, rotating, and moving a schematic, there's not that much to do with this mod. 
but it's pretty cool whenever you download a house, then you can just rebuild it using the schematic. For real, if you have other questions regarding this mod, just tell me in the comments. I'll, I'll try to answer all of the questions. I might make a part two if I missed out some stuff. If you want more videos about mods, I could just do more, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.